Hi, I'm Carla. Today I'm going to be drawing a big cat, a cougar, next to a domestic cat, side by side, and then I'm going to compare the features between the two. So I'm working on this new assignment, drawing big cats, like cougars and panthers, and I was really curious to know how different they looked compared to a domestic cat. Obviously they're bigger, but just how similar and how, or how different are their features? So that's what I'm exploring here. When I draw a little cat, I start with the, the most iconic features, and that is the, the sharp cheekbones and um, the almond-shaped eyes and little triangular nose and um, pointy ears, whiskers, of course. But then when I started researching what big cats look like, I noticed one big difference on the face, and that is the muzzle size. It's, it's much bigger and makes the face look much longer. They also have very defined jaw lines, as do a small cat, but I think because with small cats, um, so much fur covers their face, we don't see that sharp, that sharp angular jaw line the way we do on a, on a cougar, for instance. Big cats also have almond-shaped eyes the way small cats do, but their pupils are different. Their, their pupils are actually round, whereas domestic cats have more of a sliver. Another interesting difference is on a big cat, their ears have a rounded tip, whereas on a small cat, as we all know, they have a pointy tip. And then when I went to compare the bodies, I noticed the difference in their backs. In a small cat, the back appears kind of flat. There's not a whole lot of definition. And their shoulders and their forelegs look fairly petite. But then when you come up to the big cat, you see a big difference in the shape of the back. Their shoulder blade is really defined. Their forelegs and their shoulders are much bigger in relation to that of a small cat's. Then in their hind legs, there's a lot of similarity. Both big cats and domestic cats can jump super high for their size. Small cats can jump about eight times their length, so up to eight feet. And a cougar can jump around 18 feet. So there's a lot of power and flexibility in those back legs for both animals. There's obviously also a big difference in their paw size. Proportionally, a big cat has much bigger paws. Their tails are also a little bit different. A domestic cat's tail bone actually comes to a point. A big cat's tail is rounded at the tip. Now I'm just gonna go back in and clean up the muzzle on the small cat. I really wanted to match the muzzle on the big cat. Small cats really do have the same defined jawline the way big cats do, but it's just covered up most of the time by soft facial fur. So that's my comparison of a domestic cat and a big cat. Thanks very much for listening. See you next time.